来着吗？ I'm Julie. Your mom and dad are going out, and so I'm here to take care of you while they're gone. Okay? Mom and dad asked me to bring you up your dog. They said you left it downstairs. It's really cute. What's his name? Okay. Well, here you take him. Snuggle up there. Good, good. Is it okay if I sit down? Okay. <sighs> I really like your room. It's nice. Now, I know that. You're supposed to be going to sleep, but I wanted to come up and say hi anyway because I feel like it's kind of weird not knowing who's here taking care of you, you know. And I wanted you to know that I'm here and that you're gonna be nice and safe. Okay. Good. Are you feeling sleepy? Oh, some of your water? Sure. Ooh, it's nice and icy. I like this. Is pink your favorite color? Okay. Well, here you go. Not too much now. I'm gonna sit it over here so that it's within easy reach if you get thirsty again, okay? Great. So tell me, Miss Gemma, how old are you again? Okay. So that means that you're in what grade? Mmm, that's a fun grade. Yep. I remember having all kinds of fun when I was your age. Well, as much fun as mom and dad will let you have, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's hard sometimes, isn't it? You just want to play, and mom and dad want you to clean your room, or Take out the trash. Yeah. <laughs> Not that you need to clean your room. It looks like you're pretty neat. You're probably one of the cleanest kids I've ever taken care of. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that is a very nice way of doing things. You sound like a very smart kid. Hmm. That's a good thing to be. Okay. Sure. Oh, you got a little hair. Just, just there. It's in your face. There we go. I know it's, it's hard to sleep when you have hairs all in your eyes and up your nose. I have those problems too. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, what is your bedtime routine? Because I'd like to help you get to sleep so you can have some nice dreams. And I'll go downstairs and maybe I'll watch TV for a little while until your mom and dad get home. 
No, no, I'm sorry. I'm a nice babysitter, but I'm not that nice. I'm not going to let you stay up past your bedtime and watch TV. Nope. Mm -mm. Sorry. Okay. Well, you've already had your water. And you're in your pajamas already, I see. And I brought you your dog. A story. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I can do that. I brought my backpack. And I have in there a special storybook that I bring to read to little boys and girls when I babysit. Would you like me to read you a story from my special book? Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, I got it. What? Well, you know, I know it's pretty plain and looks kind of old. It is very, very old because this is a special book that's been passed down for many, many generations in my family. It's a special privilege for kids like you to hear the stories in it. No, it doesn't have any pictures either, but I promise it's going to be a super fun story. What do you think? You'd rather have a Dr. Seuss book? Really? Well, I tell you what. How about if you give this book a chance? If you don't like the story that I tell you, maybe if there's time we can do a Dr. Seuss afterwards. How's that sound? Okay. Now, you just lay down there, get comfortable, Snuggle up in your bed. Pull those covers up tight. There you go. Perfect. Now, the question is, which story is perfect for Gemma. Mm. No, not that one. Maybe stick a pin in that one. Here we go. This is a good one. <clears throat> Are you ready? Okay. Long ago, when the sky and the trees and the earth were young, there was a What do you mean? No, it doesn't say once upon a time. That's not how the story starts. Every story doesn't have to start like that. Silly. 
Now be quiet. There lived a fair maiden, a little girl named Gemma. She had a... What? Yes, that's what it says. Why do you think I picked this one? Are you going to interrupt me the entire time? Because I don't have to read this, you know. I mean, I'm nice and everything, but I don't really like getting interrupted, so... Do you want me to read this or don't you? Okay. Silly. Gemma was beautiful and fair, with eyes of blue and long, silky hair. She had a voice as pure as the wind and sang beautifully for everyone in the village to hear. She was a good little girl. She listened to her parents and did everything that mother and father tasked her with without complaint. One day, she was out for a walk in the meadow when she came... What? Oh, a meadow was like a, uh, like a big, uh, field with a lot of flowers in it. Okay, are you going to let me read this? Or not? Okay. Now, shush. Maybe you'll hear the answer to your questions. Now I forgot where I was. Oh, the meadow. That's right. Okay. The meadow was filled with... No, that's not where we were. Okay. Okay. Where she came across a wandering fairy. Now, this fairy was... Not like the fairies in her storybooks. For those stories portrayed fairies as kind and gentle and beautiful. With sparkly wings and pleasant smiles and lilting voices. Her storybook fairies granted wishes. If you say another word, I'm going to shut this book and go downstairs. Now, I'm running out of time. I mean, it's almost time for you to go to bed. So, just let me read the story. Now, as she approached this fairy, she felt a little afraid. Madam Fairy, she asked, have you come to grant me a wish? Foolish child, said the fairy. You think me a bringer of wishes? Do I look like a glittery, happy creature to you? No, I am not. I am a dark fairy, sent here on a mission to find a little girl, kidnap her, and take her to the fairy realm with me, where she will live forever as a servant. is the best part. Hold on. Little Gemma was very afraid and she began to shake. Please say that it's not me that you're wanting to take to the fairy realm. I can't leave my home. I can't leave my mother and father. Who will do the chores? Who will look after the pigs and the chickens? No, fair fairy, I cannot go with you. It was at that moment that the fairy's wings burst forth from her back in a powerful, frightening display. I will have you, Gemma, 
and no amount of running or hiding will keep you from coming to the fairy realm with me. Little Gemma turned and ran, but it was of no use. The fairy caught her, and before she could blink her eyes three times, she was dragged into the fairy realm where she was to live out her days, crying and missing her family. What'd you think of that? Scary? I like a good scary story. You don't? I'm sorry. Oh gosh. Maybe I shouldn't have read you that story. I didn't mean to upset you. Pretty little thing like you. Does everything she's supposed to do. Just like her namesake from the book. No. You go on to sleep now, Gemma. There's nothing at all to be afraid of. It's not like I'm a dark fairy or anything. I'm just a babysitter. I would never kidnap a child. That would be wrong of me. Ha, ha, ha.